Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay, well this is where I left off last time. Of course this trail goes up there, but according to my map the trail is further down that way. Now I've got a place to put the tarp. It's only 5.15 but I thought it was really far actually. I've got some uh, expedition foods. Uh, Asian noodles with chicken and mixed of vegetables. I love this one. This is, I have to say, this is probably my favourite. This is just so nice. I'm really looking forward to having this. I am absolutely starving. Now it's getting warmer, I'm using the cheap 99p gas. Remember, remember to take the silicone out. So, that's been boiling for a while. Got me a fork here. It's supposed to give it a bit of a stir when you put the water in. Look at that. Oh man, look at that. That looks good. I am so hungry. Not sure how much water I'm supposed to put in, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure it says on the instructions, but I reckon that'll be enough. So. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Polished it off. And I just had uh, these crunchy snack, snack, snacking cheese. Um, these are really nice as well. I'll put links in the description for both of these. Really nice snack that is. If you like cheese. Okay, so I'm just going to have some uh, blueberries. It's always good to have some kind of um, fruit, vitamin C, when you go hiking. Morning. Well, I'm going to have a Starbucks double shot espresso this morning, rather than boiling up some water and um, it's a cold coffee. And I am going to have to eat. have a homemade pasty this morning because if I don't eat it now, it's going to go off and heat today because I think it's going to be hot later on. By the way, the temperature reached around 6 Celsius. Um, I felt right on the edges of being pretty cold in this sleeping bag, this summer sleeping bag last night. I don't know if this light is too bright. Um, I'm up later than I wanted to be because it was just so cold. Six Celsius might not sound cold, but considering it's been, I've been used to like 20 out, 28 Celsius for the last couple of days. It's a big, massive drop in temperature. So, um, and I've got summer gear with me, so it, it felt absolutely pretty cold last night. I didn't want to get up. It's, um, it's about 25 minutes to sunrise. So obviously I'm not going to make it to the top of Penway Fan uh, for a sunrise, which is a shame. Um, but I just did not want to get out of the, my bed, my feet were wet. I've got my trail trainers have got holes in. I think I need to get some new ones. Um, I've only got one spare pair of socks because uh, I'm going light as possible this time. Even through my bag is still heavy, just got my camera gear as well and a supply of food. Okay, well that's me all packed up, no trace left, all the rubbish packed away. I did a time lapse on my camera, I thought I had it on automatic, but for some reason it didn't come out very well. I don't know why. A lovely windless morning, but I don't think the sunrise was much, so I've not missed much in sunrise wise. Bit of a steep bit, it's not that steep actually. Really nice morning. Uh, 
absolutely stunning morning. Lovely morning. I'm at the top of a peak, I can't remember, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, I, I might put it up on the screen. Luckily, all the crowd was just left, just before I got here, so that's, that's pretty cool. Bit busy.
still, still people are coming up, still very busy. I think after I cross the road at this, by this, uh, I don't know what it is, outdoor centre on the road after this hill, then I go up another hill, I think there's going to be hardly any people on that bit. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> so after doing those mountains I've just done this morning and just now coming down, been coming down for a while now. I've got to go up that one in front of me I believe, right over it I think. I don't think there's going to be many people going over that, it's like there's here. It's just this last one I've done is the highest point in South Britain or the highest point in South Wales. So everybody wants to go up there. There are so, so many cars parked down here. <laughs> no wonder why there's loads up there. It's not, it's not too far from this car park down there, I don't think, to get to Pen Wifan. That's why people were up there so early this morning, I think. This is insane, man. <laughs> not the most peaceful part of the uh, Cambran way, has to be said. Leave. There's no bins down there, right? There's a, a burger van. I, I won't say the name of it. A burger van that sells drinks. I guess it's a burger van. It sells food, drinks. I paid two pound forty for two vaguely cold cans of Coke and Fanta. Uh, didn't even get a receipt. Uh, it was two forty. I checked on my app, and there's not even any bins. £2.40 for two cans, there's not one bin in that lay-by, not one bin, so I was hoping to get rid of some of the rubbish here, but I can't believe that, there's no bins there, unbelievable, and look how busy it is as well. Tourist prices, eh? Well, I can see two other hikers coming this way. It's a little bit different to that. I'm not joking. There are two main routes up there, and the other route that I didn't come down is literally thousands and thousands of people going up there. There must be a, a couple of mile long car park cars parked at the bottom. Um, yet there's next to nobody coming up here. <laughs> Do <laughs> I mean why? Why this is beautiful. Well, I've gone off track now. I don't know if this is a track or animal. Uh, roughly around this area, I've got to go up the uh, Cambran Way. Well, this part of the hike is very different to the Pen Mai fan part. After cross the road and up here, I saw a few people doing the Beacons Way, but this path leads to Beacons Way. Beacons Way skirts this mountain range and I go over it, this part. So it's, it's not even an official path this, uh, but there is some kind of uh, markings for a path like uh, that you can see on the ground. So obviously quite a few people have used this, but it's just not official. It's not on the OS maps as far as I can see, not the ones I've got anyway. It's a bit pathless. Oh. You should be able to see Pen Y fan in the background actually. This is just so nice. I think like little uh, broth rooms by the, uh, the river. There might even be some signal here. I can see a wind farm on the hill in the distance. But it's so early, like it's only about one o'clock. But yeah, I don't, I don't have to be back. And the last weather report I saw was, was perfect weather. I don't want to camp too high up either. I um, know this is quite a few hundred metres up, but it's not right on top of the peak. But it's going to go below 
10 Celsius. My, my son is sleeping back because I need comfort rate in a 10, so and this has got water and everything, and it's just, just beautiful. Although there might be some flies here later on, could be a bit of a problem. But uh, yeah, I've got some stuff to cover my face. This, this is just beautiful. I'm gonna have a rest here at least. So I've decided to rest early. I need to get out the sun. I'm going to lay down in the tarp. It's got UV protection. I need to get out the sun. I might move again. This the hike might not be over today. If the flies get bad, I'm definitely moving. But for now, I'm just going to have a rest in here. I might make some tea. I will definitely fill with some water before I go. Hopefully the flies don't get bad. I've got smelly stuff. I've got a fly in there. So after having a bit of a rest, in the tarp and I've sat in the shade for just a little while. Um, I've decided I haven't walked far enough. I'm getting itchy feet. I don't um <laughs> I get bored if I sit around too much. One thing one reason I like hiking, I like to keep on my feet. Um, I hate I'm not one of these types who's gonna sit all day at a tent, a camp a world camping spot. I can't do that. I just find it really boring. I have to keep, I like moving, I like just seeing scenery and just keep moving. Um, it, it's not cool, it's still really hot, but it's not quite as hot as it was. I just filled with some water. I didn't bother cooking anything or making coffee. Um, I think here's going to be a fly fest, just right by the water, and be a little wind tonight. So I want to camp away from water. Now I've got my water for cooking, I filled with water for cooking. I've still got um, a litre and a half of drinking water that I've been carrying since I started the hike and um, a litre of uh, cranberry juice. Uh, that'll be my drinking water. Well, I saw my stuff picked up. Well, I ain't gonna hang around. I'm gonna go and sit in the shade for a bit again before I go over the other side of this uh, stream. folks I'm not joking in the fact that I say that um, this hike especially well all it you know you get lightning thunder cold hail snow um, I've had it on this hike um, and now brutally hot um, I think it's almost reaching 30 Celsius at times on the hike according to my temperature gauge 27 at least um, so hard and it's pretty much pathless I mean there are tracks but you've just got to make a route through tussocks I've been through tussocks I know other hikes do that um, like the like, this is definitely harder than the Cape Raft Trail miles harder than the Cape Raft Trail um, in the fact that you've got to go there's a lot more elevation you're going up a lot more it, it goes over the mountains rather than tries you know I know the Cape Raft Trail goes over mountains as well but not as many as this um, and this isn't just the south in the Brecon Beacons. Um, it's definitely harder. I've done the Cape Raft tra Trail twice, once on John O'Groats end to end trail and on its own. And to be honest, I didn't I didn't think it was that hard, but I had good weather for it. In a, I think it was a May, May time. No midges, weather was perfect. So that might be why I found it easy. Um, I, I probably will do that hike again. I mean, this is the only hike ever I've had to do, give up and come back again and start again. I've never, no long distance hike. Uh, Any ones where I specifically didn't have the time and I planned it that way, not because they were hard, but this one, it's because it's hard. I've had to stop and start. Uh, fair play to anybody who's done it. But remember, bear in mind, I'm carrying my camera equipment, drones, uh, drone batteries, chargers, uh, camera equipment, video equipment. Um, I don't stop at uh, B and B's. I don't stop at campsites, um, hotels, or anything like that. I do it all just wild camping. 
Um, it's not that I don't want to stop at campsites or hostels or hotels, I just can't afford it. So, there you go. The Beacon's Way is looking really, really, uh, really good. It's a nice track size path. Um, I'm just by the Beacon's Way now, but my Cambron Way crosses it. Not a path, it's just going across sort of tundra. Just dry grass and bloody um, tussocks. This stuff is it's not, it's just so bumpy. It's just, you cannot sleep on it. It's all tussocky ground. There's no, um, no nice flat surface. surface. I think I'm going to have to keep walking. I didn't want to. Um, I wanted to put the tent up here by this river, but it's just nowhere. It's all damp and wet. Uh, there's a lot of flies about. And there's just nowhere. Reason, like you know, va vaguely reasonable to put the tent. Um, I'm gonna have to keep looking. Oh, I'm knackered. So I found a vaguely okay spot by the uh, river here. It's a bit damp, so it's probably going to be a fly problem. Hopefully, this a breeze remains. I'm in an exposed area. So hopefully, there's enough breeze to keep the flies away. I've got these smelly things. I've got some more in the bag, and I've got a uh, midgenet to put over my head. Um, I'm going to make something to eat now. Um, it's going to be um, a spaghetti bolognese by Expedition Foods. Love, love these meals. Um, for a snack, got these again. I got this for a rehydration. Just had a drink actually. Still got a drink left from when I started, the drink I've been carrying for drinking. Um, so I've not actually drunk any, since I left, drunk any river water. I've just been using that for cooking. Um, but at some point, I'm probably going to have to um, drink some of the river water. Anyway, I'm going to get this, uh, get the food on. Don't forget to take the silicone out. I've heard of people eating this stuff. I've, I've chewed on it before as well. But yeah, this looks good. Oh, smells good. Don't know if you can see that. So I'm just boiling up the water. That should be ready soon. That should be ready, I hope. It's been filtered anyway, but I'm kind of boiling up uh, my spork in there just to sterilize it. Um, but I think that should, that should be ready now. So I'm gonna turn off the gas. Okay. Oh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah. Aha. I don't know if that's enough. I reckon. Yeah, I reckon that's enough. Doesn't have a a walk. No, wait there. Weird, there's a cut-off bit there as well. I don't know if that's supposed to be the water line. Anyway, I'm gonna stir that up a bit, reseal it, and get in my sleeping bag. 